Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shan Karbanda. So, in today's video, we're going to be starting a new series called How to Code Your Discord Bot Using Discord JS uh, in uh, V13. So, as you may know, I have created a V12 series in the past year or so. And however, the V12 is completely outdated now, and Discord has stopped providing any support or updates to v12 since um uh, april 30th 2022 so i thought it's a good time to start now a new v13 series and if you want you can read this discord js guide on how to update from v12 to v13 it tells you in depth how to do everything and however in this video i'm going to be showing you step by step on how you can get started using v13 so i think that's much easier just to follow along my video so with that being said let's get started so the first thing that we're actually going to do in this tutorial series is that we're going to create our Discord server. Uh, so what you need to do is open up the, your Discord application, whether it's the desktop app or you open the Discord in the web browser. So I have the Discord app right here. So I'm going to click on this plus icon right here in the left hand side. And I'm going to click um, add a server. And I'm going to click, click on create my own. And I'm going to choose for me and my friends. And I'm just going to give it a name such as test server and then click on enter and as you can see we have created our own server right here our own little server here we'll be adding our bot and if you want you can invite your friends into your own server so they can use your bot as well the next thing you want to do is go to the discord developers portal and the url for the website is discord.com slash developers slash applications this link will also be in the description below so you can easily click on it so now what you need to do is click on new application and uh, you may have some applications over here the reason why i have these three applications is because i have created three bots in the past and so what you want to do is click on create new application give it a name so i'll just type jashan's test bot like that and then i'm going to click on create and then what you want to do is go to bot and click on add bot this will basically convert your application into a bot so then click on yes do it and there we go now we have our own little bot here so now what we want to do is go to all of this panel called oauthentication2 so what we want to do is now go to this panel called oauth2 and then click on url generator and then we want to click on bot the permissions that we're going to be giving our bot in this tutorial series is administrator so it's easier to test out commands um, however you can give the bot whatever permissions you like so now that we have done that we're going to get this url right over here in the bot then what we're going to do is copy that url then what we're going to do is basically paste that URL into a new tab. And then we're going to click on add to server. So I'm going to choose test server. And then we're going to click authorize. Do you know that you need to have either administrator permission or managed server permission. And so you can now just add your bot to any other server. And once that's done, you can close this tab. And I do want to point out that we want to keep in mind that if you keep this tab selected your bot can be added by others so if you don't want that and you don't want others to have access to your bot make sure to untick this save changes and it's generally a good habit to give your bot all these intents so let's give it presence intent server members intent and message content intent in this particular video we're not going to be using any of these intents but later on in the series we will be so it's better just to now to give the bot access to these intents right now while we're creating it Next thing what we do is we need to get Node.js, which will basically allow us to run JavaScript outside our web browser. So you can just download one of these options right here. And since I already downloaded it, I'm not going to be downloading it again. And additionally, we will be needing a code editor. So what I use and a lot of other developers use is Visual Studio Code. So just click on this blue download button right here. And you want to choose your machine that you're going to be downloading. So since I have a machine, I will download for Windows. But again, I have Visual Studio Code already downloaded, so I'm not going to be downloading it again. Once you have downloaded it, you have all the resources and tools needed to get started. So to actually get started, what you want to do is go to your desktop and create a new folder there. So I have this Discord Bots folder which we'll be using. So I'm going to go open this Discord Bots folder. And then here I have another folder called V13 because I was creating another bot earlier. So what I'm actually going to do is create a new folder in this bots Discord Bots folder. And I'm just going to give it a name of Tutorial Bots. And now that we've done that, we want to navigate inside this folder, so which will allow us to store all the program code inside the tutorial bots folder. To do that, we're going to be using command prompt. So to open up command prompt, simply press the Windows key on your keyboard and then type command prompt. If you're on a MacBook, it's going to be a terminal. 
Okay, so now that we have to command prompt open, we're going to type cd desktop. Then we're going to type cd discard bots. And then, oh sorry, there's no space between discard bots. So discard bots. And then it's going to be a cd tutorial bot. And now that we have cd or navigating inside that folder, what we're going to do is start our bot. So we're going to start by creating a package.json file. So we're going to type npm in it. And this will start the process of creating our package.json file. So let's get started. Package name, we're going to leave it as tutorial bots. Uh, version, we're going to leave it as 1.0.0. And then we're going to leave the description blank. You can enter one if you want. And the entry point, we're going to leave it as index.js. However, feel free to change this to your liking, like such as main.js, bot.js. But we're going to be leaving it to index.js for simplicity. And then and for our test command, uh, we're going to be typing node src, which stands for source code and then index.js uh, do note if you have changed your entry point to something else like bot.js you would type node src slash bot.js or whatever you change your entry point to but since i didn't change my entry point to anything i'm going to leave it as index.js then click on enter and then our git repository we're going to just going to leave that blank and keyword we're going to leave that blank we're going to leave the author blank as well and uh, we're going to leave the license as the default isc and then that's it and then everything looks good to me, so I'm going to type yes. And now that we have our package.json file created, what we're going to do is actually now di install discard.js. So we're going to type npm i discard.js, which will install the latest version of discard.js for us. Okay, now that we have discard.js installed, we're going to be installing .env, so we can be using environment variables in our program. So we're going to type npm i .env. And out of grid that we can simply type code space dot to open a visual studio code if this does not work for you for any reason feel free to open a visual studio code manually using your either the windows search bar or in mac the finder all right now that we have visual studio code open it's asking us do you want to trust the authors of the files in these folders click on yes trust the authors and uh, as you can see we have our package.json file created for us which we created in the command prompt earlier so now what we're going to do is create a new folder and call it src which is where all our source code will be located and inside that src folder we're going to create a new file called index.js and if your entry point was something else like pod.js make it name it pod.js outside of our src folder in the root folder we're going to create a .env file sorry that should be outside so .env basically a .env file will be where our code is located. So a .env file is, is a very secure way of placing your file. In the previous tutorial series in v12, I had told you guys to do client.login and then your token. So basically that's very unsafe. Suppose if you're pushing this to like GitHub or something, uh, or you're trying to share your code to someone else, they will have access to your token and the, unless you reset it. Put in, if you include .env, you know, when you push it to GitHub, you can actually do git ignore, and you can just ignore the, the .env file. And this way, your bot and your program will be very safe and secure. So now what we're going to do is token equal, and you can set the name to anything you like, but just keep your token for simplicity's sake again. And then the token is actually going to be the token of the bot that we created like a couple of minutes back. So now that we're back in Discord Developers Portal, what we're going to do is go to bot, Okay, we forgot to save changes from last time, so let's just do that. And then what we're going to do is go to reset token, and then yes, do it, and then copy token. Make sure to never ever share your token with anyone else, because if anyone else has access to your token, they'll be able to log into your bot and do all sorts of things which you may not want. So after I'm done recording this video, I will be changing my token so you won't have access to it. But remember, never share your token with anyone else. So let's copy this. And then we're going to go back to Visual Studio Code and just paste that in. Like that and once that is done we're going to go to our index.js file and then we're going to actually start programming our bot so let's type const client intents intent sorry for that require discord.js and so the next line is like a new thing to v13 where you have to actually specify what intents your bot wants whether it be like guild member add or stuff like that then this one's not there in v12 but now they've added this in v13 so in this case we're not going to be actually doing much so we're just going to give it like the general intents like view channel and stuff so we're going to type const client 
is equal to new client and we're going to give it some intent so in this case we're going to give it intent flags dot guilds okay and this is an array we have to put it in brackets all right next so now we're going to do a ready event which will basically log when the bot becomes online so let's type client dot on in the upcoming videos i'm going to be removing this from the index.js file and because we'll be creating an advanced command handler and we won't actually like need uh to have it inside of our index.js file similar to what we did in like the v12 series like we do not have sorry there's just an arrow here we don't have like our ready event inside of our index.js file we had that inside our like, events folder and we're going to be doing that as well in this v13 series and feel free to actually check out the v12 series if you want to get a basic idea of how scorejs or javascript actually works because the fundamental ideas haven't changed it's just that some slight syntax has changed so now that we have created a ready event we want to do an async function which will allow us to actually log in to the bot so let's do async Login and let's pass in process dot env dot token and note if you're in your env file if this was something else like discord token just type discord token here since it's minus token I'm just gonna type token here and now we have one last line of code to do which is or line three and that is to require environment variables for the type require dot env dot config with that being done we should be good to go so let's save our code and let's go to our command mom and then use our test command that we created earlier so npm run test intent is not defined line 2 cons client new client int oh capital I should be a capital I over here Let's save that and let's run it again. npm run test. So as you can see, it says bot is ready. So let's go to our Discord server and check it out. So as you can see, we're on our Discord server now, and then you can see how our bot has been added to our server, which we had done earlier. And you can also see how the bot is online. There you go. That's how you can create your own Discord bot, add it to your own server, and get it running. In the future videos, we're going to be actually adding commands to it. The next video, I believe we're going to be creating an advanced command handler to get started. And then we're going to be adding our first commands, such as ping. And then we're going to be implementing the commands we did previously, such as the kick, mute, ban, and creating more commands to the spot. And I believe V13 will be lasting for longer. We'll have a longer lifespan of a support than V12, so that's a good sign. And a final thing that I want to say is, like I mentioned earlier, the V12 series will still be helpful in, in the way that you can still learn how to implement stuff, just that the syntax will be a little bit different. And if you're following a V12 series and you want to implement everything right now immediately to V13, so what you can actually do is, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can read this Discord.js guide. It will tell you exactly how you can upgrade from V12 to V13 including all the commands and additionally you can also check out the discord.js documentation which includes everything that one could ask for basically in related to um, coding with discord.js so these tools that are available to you and i'll also link these in the description below so there you guys have it hopefully you like this video if you did well, make sure to like give it a like share this video with your friends and family and then i'll see you guys soon have a wonderful day Bye -bye.